Hello guys, this is DJ Studios and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back doing uh, my behind the scenes video. Now this week I haven't actually filmed any behind the scenes stuff um, because it's all been post-production. There's been nothing particularly interesting. Uh, well, there's been interesting things, sure, but I don't want to show you to them to you because otherwise that is a lot of um, secrets that I'm showing you. So the final scene that I have to do is six and seven and they were the grand total that I had to do for the week uh, and they would basically wrap up this sort of basic post-production then next week it's tying everything together doing the trailer doing the poster uh, and doing the credits and then it's finished and then there'll probably be maybe a two-week break without any videos um, of this series and then we come back and we do the the filming of uh, episode two um, and that is how it would go um, it, it, it still seems to go that way. I just think there might be a little bit more slack to pick up next week um, than I really wanted to. I wanted to get this uh, this sort of stuff done really quickly, but I, I did struggle. And there's quite a few reasons why. One of them, scene six is very long. It's like three minutes long in total, which meant that I couldn't do it all as one because that is just too large of a file and I didn't want to stick it all in one go. So I've done it in bits. So as I constructed it, it was uh, part, part A, part B, part C, um, and I think I had like five parts um, that would then were shorter, maybe 30 seconds each, uh, and they all came together to make scene six and they had to add music to scene six. And while I was doing that, I was doing a bit of testing for music and uh, testing on other things and realizing it's just about impossible to make a Doctor Who fan series without making Doctor Who uh, music, um, you know, without that going in. And if that goes in, you get copyrighted for it. Now, the copyright isn't too bad, to be fair. All you do, uh, all you get is obviously the claim and the profits that are made from the video, even though there isn't any. Um, go to the the copyright holder um so the most of the bigger themes obviously are copyrighted it's just a bit of a pain when you know if you're looking for something if you're trying to make doctor who it's quite difficult not to include the music and to get penalized for that is a bit annoying uh, but it you know it makes sense so i spent quite a lot of this week actually going back onto scene 3 and having a look at that again and thinking about that and deciding what you know what i what i can do with it um in the end i decided nothing but i'm going to go through the sort of stages so first i thought what if i remove it fill it full of something else maybe royalty free music well if i did that then I'm actually really happy with the scene with that music, so that wouldn't make any sense. The second thing that I thought I could do is add a remix or um, just a change. I changed some pitch and I changed uh, depth, add some bass, that kind of stuff. And it, it, I put it into YouTube and it registered it as um, the same music, so that didn't work. And then the third thing I tried, uh, well, the third thing I didn't try was just to leave it. It's only a copyright claim, and it's not um, too bad. It just stops monetization, and for me, monetization is something I can't even do. So that doesn't matter. Right now, on like Thursday or Friday, and I'm still working on scene six, and I have scene seven to make. When I'm doing scene seven, I was thinking, right, this is the final scene. It needs to have really cool music. I had to find the music for that, and I couldn't really choose any, so I kind of just used my theme. I, ew. I, I like it but I wish I could find some better um, stuff. And that's part of, I suppose, next week, the process of almost evaluation. Uh, once it's finished, I'm going to send it to Will and maybe some other people and ask if they want to see it early uh, and see it and you know say things like, oh, you can't hear this because I'm aware that there are problems with my episode, but I, I want to try and take as many of them as I can out before... Um, you know, before it's released properly. Um, if it does get, you know, I, I know there's problems in it, and I know that they, some of them are quite large. Some of them I can't change at this point, and I'm just going to have to live with them. But some of them are changeable, and I want to know, because me sitting there on my computer, you know, making these scenes, for me, it has a different emotion to other people. So if they watch it, would they feel the same, or would they feel like this needs to be changed? Or, you know, you this it's so you can't hear it like or the music's too loud here things like that things that are changeable um or you know it might need 
bits taken out, that kind of stuff. Or, you know, what is going on here? But I do have a few things that I can show you briefly. So, I have two images. Quite literally, two images. So, image one is from scene six, uh, and that is the, the big scene, so. And here is an image from scene seven, the next uh, scene along, which is the final scene, uh, and it's a picture of the TARDIS. Yeah, that, that's, that's all you're getting, I'm afraid. You, you're not getting any better. Um, because these two scenes are really important, so they have to be extremely tight-lipped. I don't think it really matters, to be fair, but I just feel like, you know, if you make anything, you want there to be some kind of surprise. It just seems pointless just to spoil it. Uh, in terms of the next episode, I'll just explain a bit of that. Um, I've been writing the, the script. It seems to be going quite well. It's a bit shorter, um, but the scenes... Are, well, there's going to be more scenes, but they're shorter scenes. Um, you know, the last scene I did was, like, less than a page. Um, but there's some scenes in there that will be two or three. Um, basically, I will have less of them and more of the shorter scenes, so there'll probably be about eight um, in the end, and I'm really happy with how this episode is going, I think it's got this cool sort of atmosphere to it, and I think that um, it's a lot better than scene one, it's a little bit more Doctor Who related, um, you know, episode one is quite grounded, but I do like that sometimes, um, and episode two just kind of like, hey, let's go out into space and go and do some stuff. I know this week it's been a bit shorter, it's a bit uh, annoying, but there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, that's why I kind of want to do a two week sort of gap um, once episode one is completed, so then I can basically gather up a bit of more footage and stuff of the, of the filming, so I'm not at the end of the week trying to rush an, epi an episode of this and trying to make an episode of this. If I can gather you know, parts of the um, filming and such from the previous week, then I could put that in and make it a bit more longer and a bit more entertaining. Next week is going to be awesome. We are going to get the trailer. We are going to get the posters. We're going to put it all together. And then it, that will be it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you make sure you give a like. I know it's not exactly the kind of pace of the... Um, the point of a behind the scenes video is me to sit here and explain to you all the stuff that's happened this week. It's better to show you, but um, it's been quite difficult um, not to spoil things, as I think I've said about four times throughout this video now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give a like. I shall see you soon. Goodbye.